Hey everybody, welcome in. Come on in and say hello. Happy Sunday to you. Gonna have some fun here tonight. Creating live for it to date at eight. Hey Lorraine, good to see you sweetie. Thanks for joining. Give everybody a few seconds to find us tonight. Um, it was gorgeous here today, and it put me in the mood for poppies. <laughs> I actually did a four-mile walk today, and it felt so good. So we're going to be doing some flowers. Actually, my tulips are coming up outside, so can you believe it? Poor Mother Nature. She has no clue what she's doing. <laughs> Come on in and say hello, and... Get yourself a cup of coffee, cup of tea, a cup of cuppa. Hey, Shelly. Good to see you. All right, so we're going to be doing um, a fun fold card tonight. And this one is one that I learned from a friend of mine, Cindy Wilkinson. And I love, love, love it because it's easy and it's it really shows off um, designer paper, which, as I told you before, when I was creating my... Um, my little holders from my designer series paper. I am cutting a lot of my paper up into six by sixes and storing them um, in a more efficient way, I think, because I don't usually use 12 by 12s holes, so this is perfect for me. So I am using it up, or what, is, what does Kylie say? Chop it, chop it, use it, I don't know, something. <laughs> All right, so we're going to make um, a card tonight, and I'm going to use the So Sentimental set. Um, I know we've, we've used this one before, and it is getting a lot of ink time here in my studio. Um, this one's in the mini catalog right now that is going on during celebration, so you can get this one. And it actually coordinates beautifully with one of my favorite die sets, the Stitched So Sweetly. So we're going to be using um, one of these on our card tonight with the So Sentimental. But as you can see, if you flip them around, you can see how they... Um, have coordinated these uh, sentiments to go into a couple of these framelits or dies. Sorry. So these are really, really cool. All right. Hi, Deb. Hi, Maria. Good to see you. All right. You ready for a card or two? I think I have two different designs, but I'm going to show you how to do it. So one of the things I'm using tonight is the Poppies accessory kit that is also in with the Peaceful Poppies um, suite. We used this once before and I only used these little um, strips, but there are flagged uh, little title, or you can use them for anything, little flags in there. Then there are these beautiful circles and they have a little bit of embossing on them so you can see that metallic sheen there. And they have vellum poppies and leaves in there. I cut mine down so they would fit in my little envelope here to keep everything together. And then we're going to use some of these really cool poppy um, cutouts that they have. These are beautiful. So we're going to use this on our card tonight. Okay, so here is our first card. And as I said in my description, this is a corner fun fold. So this little corner down here is holding the card closed. And when you, um, oh, now I'm seeing people. Hi, Jen. Hi, Jackie. All right. All right. Let's get this guy created here. So we're going to do this little fun fold. And you can see it tucks in that corner right there. When you open it up, you have a little, little surprise there inside. And you can stamp more on the inside if you would like. I wanted mine just a little plain because I like writing notes in mine to personalize them. All right, so we're gonna do this one first. So you're gonna need your paper trimmer and you're gonna need a piece of Poppy Parade cardstock. And my cardstock measures, and I'm gonna have these here at the end too, so you can do a screenshot if you'd want. But I need a piece of Poppy Parade cardstock that's four and a quarter by 11. So I already cut that in half. Now I'm gonna cut this piece down to eight inches. So it will be four and a quarter by eight. Now, 
I'm going to keep this because this is going to be our front panel. So we'll put that aside. Now I'm going to take my cardstock, just push it over, and I'm going to score it at five and a half. Right there. Okay. So there's our card based. And here is the little flap that's going to be going on the front. All right. Easy peasy. Lemon squeezy. All right, so the next thing you will need, you will need um, a piece of Whisper White that is four by five and a quarter, and this is gonna get adhered on the inside. So let's get our snail out here. I'm gonna just go ahead and adhere this. And if you'd like to stamp on your inside, like I said, you're welcome to. I'm just gonna put mine right here. Okie dokie. All right, whoop, a little crooked. All right, I love snail. That'll bug me if I don't fix it. The beauty of using Tombow liquid glue is it gives you a little more wiggle room or wiggle time, but there, I fixed it. All right, so four by five and a quarter for the inside. Here's our front flap. Now I need to burnish this because it keeps wanting to pop up. I'm just gonna burnish this a nice crease. Now the, for this panel right here, you're gonna need a piece of your designer paper that measures two and a quarter by four. Let me see, where's mine? Here we go. Two and a quarter by four. Nope, that's oh, oh yeah, that's the one. Sorry, I'm thinking. I just did a different design and I was getting myself confused. So two and a quarter by four. Phew. So we're gonna right here that to the top panel here, and you want to make sure when you're using directional paper, you want to make sure you're paying attention to which way it's going. So these poppies definitely have a direction, so you gotta be careful the way you cut it. So two and a quarter by four, it's gonna go right up here at the top. Now I have another piece that is two by two, and I cut it in half on the diagonal. And again, this is the time you really need to pay attention because I'm gonna use this down here in the bottom corner. So I'm gonna make sure that it's going straight up and down, okay? So I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna bring in a little bit of that multi-purpose glue. And I'm going to add just a line of glue along the edges for the side and the bottom. Like that. All right, and then this will get glued down here in the very corner of our white panel. Right there. Okie doke, you with me? All right. Now, I'm gonna set this aside for a minute and I'm gonna bring in that piece that we cut off of the card base. So this one measures, make sure I remembered it correctly. This one is four and a quarter by three. Alrighty. Now, you're going to want to bring in, now I added car, um, designer paper to this piece of mine. I didn't leave it just, I know, remember Cindy did hers and she, she left hers just um, solid, but I wanted to have some more color in that. So I cut a piece of mine and this one measures two and three fourths by four. All right. So we'll go ahead and add some adhesive. Add this to the panel. Like so. All right, now I'm going to go ahead and put this onto my card. And I wanna make sure when I do it, I'm only gonna put the glue behind this top third of it. Ask me how I know? Go ahead, ask me. <laughs> yeah, not paying attention sometimes. I can get myself in some kind of trouble. All right, so here I'm going to go ahead and I'm gonna insert it down here at the bottom and I'm gonna bring it down so that I can judge both sides and the bottom spacing there. 
That looks good right there. Whoops. Just give it a little smooth out there. There we go. All right. So there's our front panel. Got it? All right, now I'm gonna bring in a piece of just a scrap of Whisper White. And like I said, I'm using that So Sentimental stamp set. And we're gonna use this second largest one, the shape right here. And I've already gone ahead and cut one here. And I'm gonna use the Sending Healing Hugs stamp out of that stamp set. And some Poppy Parade ink. Give it a few taps, get it nice and inky on there. I'm gonna see if I can get this straight on camera. <laughs> Wish me luck. Stop sticking to my finger. There we go. All right, here goes. Oh, yay. There we have it. All right, so I'm going to close my ink pad. So I don't have a catastrophe. And I'm going to take some dimensionals and add to the back of my sentiment. I just love these shapes. They're really, really great with these sentiments. And so many others. But I love the fonts in this in this stamp set. It's so sentimental. It's just so stinking cute. There we go. All right. So I'm going to take my sentiment. Center it on there, like that. Now I'm gonna bring in some of the elements from this accessory kit. This one is so pretty. I punched all, all of mine out. Uh, let's see, I'm gonna use this one. They're so cute, so cute. So many more of those. Oh, yes, I do. There's, there's um, a couple different designs with the um, the larger ones. You can see the large is on the left and then the smaller one on the right. So I like doing the opposite with this. And I'm going to keep one out for the inside of that. these two and you you guys can go away all right so I'm going to bring back my dimensionals and I'm going to put one of them up in the left hand corner I just wanted to give a little pop of <laughs> poppies up here in the corner so I'm going to put a couple dimensionals behind that oops like that. Come on, little guy. Give up. So I'm gonna just gonna add this up here. It's a little, a little pop of color. All right. Now down here on my little corner, I'm gonna add the other poppies down here, and I want to make sure when I do the ones for the inside, that this one will cover it up, but my panel's pretty, on this particular one, it's pretty beefy, so it looks like it'll cover just fine. So I'm gonna bring this down here in the corner. Like that, did I put them far enough? I think I did. All right, now I'm gonna open this up and I'm going to bring in the ones that I want in the background back here. I've got to make sure I get them in that little pocket back there. Can't see. Hold on. Yeah. Back there. All right. So I want those to look like they're just peeking out over the top. So I'm going to kind of put those down in there and bring in a little bit of that multi-purpose glue. Put a little bit in there. And then just get it where I want it and give it a little push like that. It's a nice little surprise when you open the card, I think. Like so. 
and then when you close it, this will just tuck back behind there, like that. How cute is that? Aren't they stinking cute? I just love this paper. All right, now I made a second one and I did it in the other orientation. So you can flip this design around and it's very, very easy to, to make it the same way, actually. You're just doing it in the opposite direction. Um, these are really um, great colors to put together with this pool party and the poppy. And this poppy, um, part, the, the solid poppy on the designer series paper, this one actually looks more like an ombre. So I chose the section to cut that's more of the dark to light. I just liked the way that draws your eye. Um, and then I put one of the other flowers on the inside. So this one will just close up like so, like that. And you could always make one of these into a gift card holder. So, so easy. Um, I made a coordinating envelope, of course, to go with it. So I don't know about you, but I would be happy to get one of these get well cards in the mail. <laughs> I should be making man get well cards. I got two sick men here at my house. So there you have it. And I will post these also. Um, and it, the only measurement that it is not on here is the one for this piece of designer paper. And I'm going to need to add that. But um, all the other measurements are, are on here for you um, with the um, sentiment, So Sentimental info right here. Um, I will put this up and you'll be able to either screenshot it from this or you can just get it right off of the post here on the page. Okie doke. Um, I know a lot of you have already seen this February host code. Um, don't forget that the, um, oh, I was going to have it here for you to show you. Where is it? Here we go. The Stampin' Anonymous tutorial bundle is, is still available for the February one is available. This tutorial is 22 pages of projects with um, pictures and step-by-step -step directions of these six projects. Um, this is free to anyone who places um, an order with me this month, um, or you can get it separately for $9.95 if you'd rather do that. And it's free for all of my Inkerbells team. So if you're on my team, this is in the file section, and you'll be getting this in the file section each month when the new ones come out. So, another benefit of being an Inkerbell. <laughs> so, all right, that is our project for tonight. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, again, you can find everything you need at suitablystamped.stampinup.net, my online store, and the host code's right here for you. I will be back again on Thursday night, and I have a couple of tips I'm going to pop on this week. Um, I have two different tips to share with you this week, and I'm going to pop on Tuesday. So tips and tricks on Tuesday will be here. I will be popping on at some point. I'm not sure at what time yet, so keep your notifications on there so um, you'll know when I'm live. If not, you can always watch the replay. Please type replay in the comments if you're popping on um, when we aren't live because I'd love to know that you were here. And thanks to everybody for sharing. I really appreciate it. All right, that's all I have. Have a wonderful week ahead. Fingers crossed, lots of prayers that nobody else in my house gets sick because <laughs> two men is enough. <laughs> Trust me. All right, guys. Love you. Thanks for stopping by, and I will talk to you again soon. Bye-bye.